name is Diana Moldenhauer and I'm from uh, Covina, California. Now it's like really setting in like, okay, I think it's actually gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna work. I was so hopeless for so long. I mean, you know, six years of dealing with back pain. It was just, I can't even begin to tell you. It was, it's tough. It's been a tough road. When I started working out, I started getting into um, heavy lifting, heavier lifting. And I remember the day that I, I feel like was the day that it happened. You know, I don't know if it was just my posture or what, but something went wrong. And as I was coming down, I just immediately felt my back just give out. I was in excruciating pain and I was like completely crooked. Like you could see it, I couldn't even walk. I was like walking totally funny. And I think that's where like it started to go downhill from there. That's where it really started to affect me. You know, luckily I found this place. I began researching uh, stem cells and I noticed that in other countries they were doing stem cells from uh, donated umbilical cords and there was a process that they would take those umbilical cords and it was uh, found to be a lot more, um, I guess the process was, was, the results were greater than using your own bone marrow stem cells, of course. If I used my bone marrow, it would be 40-year-old, you know, stem cells. So I felt like it was worth a shot to give, you know, uh, a different country an, an opportunity. There's so much uh, medicine that goes on in other places that we in the States don't really know about. And um, so, and I wasn't scared, you know, I wasn't terrified of coming to to TJ, I mean, I it was just uh, being from Colombia because that's where I was born. I it wasn't going to be a big deal for me. I just wanted to make sure that it was a a company that I was preferably referred to. And so my husband um, knows Scotty and from many many years ago, and and luckily was in touch with him. And then they put me in touch with uh, with them here, and and I've been able to you know get all my questions and things about the process answered and I felt a lot more comfortable making the decision. I had an MRI, a new MRI done because I've had MRIs done in the past that, that basically gave me the specific issues that I had with my, my, my low back. It was my L4 and my L5. However, once I did my MRI here, it turned out that I actually had another herniation in my S1. We had uh, three injections done, uh, 10 million stem cells in each injection in each disc. Um, so in my L3, L4, L4, L5, and then my, uh, my S1. And uh, that was pretty interesting. I felt a lot of pressure. But the doctors pretty much did a, a thorough job of explaining exactly what's going to happen. So I, I already was prepared for that. I definitely feel like everybody here has been amazing to work with and help me through the process and, you know, get me to that day of the procedure. And um, now I'm here and I, I just, I definitely feel great. I definitely look forward to getting back into a more active lifestyle again. You know, I've been very sedentary for the past five, six years. I want to go back to just being able to take a hike and not be in excruciating pain. With time, with some time, once I'm able to, I think I'm going to try some yoga. That's what I've heard is really good, hot yoga. <laughs> you know, this is really a step in the right direction now. Like it, it happened now, I did my procedure and now I feel like this renewed like sense of like hope.